Hey E-Tech owners, it's Paul from One Cast One Fish, and today we're back on the Evinrude E-Tech 150, and today we're going to be replacing the VST filter. Now to save us a little bit of time, I've already got our cowling off. Now we're going to be working on getting our lower covers removed. And in an ideal situation, these bolts should only be hand tight. Once we get those bolts loose, we should be able to gently pull that lower cover off. Now we're going to do the exact same thing by gently pulling to remove this side cover. Now, on this side cover, I did not remove this front cable area here, so that area is still going to stay intact, and we're kind of just going to move this out to the side. And that's because it still gives us enough room to get in here and do our work. Here's our VST pump and right here down at the bottom, this is where our VST filter is. To get started, we have to remove our clamp and hose. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this zip tie that's right here, holding all this stuff together. And we'll put that back later. Now we're going to be removing our clamp, but we want to put a rag underneath there to catch any fuel that drains out. To me this is the hardest part, but once we got that clamp broke, we should be able to slide everything right off. It might take a little bit of work because it's probably going to be tight. There's that fuel coming out, like I said. That's why you want to keep that rag down there just in case. Now our VST filter is actually going to be right inside of this nipple. So we find that the best way to get that is actually to use a small screw and just screw it in lightly and pull and you'll see that filter slide right on out. Now with the filter out, it's a good chance for me to show you what the clean filter looks like as opposed to the dirty one that we just pulled out. Now we're going to get this area prepped for our new filter and our new Oedeker clamp. So we're going to pull this old clamp off. Now our new clean filter should slide right in where the old one came out. And we'll slide our new Oedeker clamp over our hose and reattach our hose over the nipple on the VST. Now we're going to be crimping down our new Oedeker clamp and it helps to have these pliers that are specially made for these type of clamps. It makes the job a whole lot easier. All you have to do is line everything up and simply crimp down tightening. As you can see now our clamp is secure and we're going to re-zip tie everything together here. And as simple as that we have a brand new VST filter on our Evan Rudy Tech. I hope you found this video useful and easy to follow for replacement of the VST filter on your Evinrude E-Tech. Now as always, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down in the comment section below. And we'll see you next time on the water.